play stupid games and you win stupid prizes. <laughs> this is from the New York Post. Torture. Disney World guests gripe of broken down rides. Filth as prices soar. <laughs> as you can see in this video, uh, this has happened several times recently. There's uh, on Splash Mountain when you get in this boat, it's <laughs> these boats are sinking. And I don't know why they just start sinking. And this is the end of the ride. It's amazing. This lady's standing on the outside of the boat. It, she, it looks like she just got squished by this boat behind her and it didn't phase her. <laughs> She's lucky she didn't have her legs back there. Oh my goodness. What in the world? <laughs> Let's get in the article. Disney World guests griped that Orlando, Florida resort has become plagued with broken down rides and dirty facilities. Even as Theme Park continues to hike prices under CEO Bob Chapek, and that's the truth. They've raised the prices incredibly high, and they've, they've done this in knowing that they've pushed all this woke agenda and being super progressive on top of that. Yeah, they still have a lot of people going, <laughs> but they're so, they're so concerned about pushing this agenda and raising the prices on top of that when 90 or so percent of people in the whole world disagree with this stuff. It's just incredible. <laughs> Universal's just blowing them out of the water. And it's just, it's just hilarious that they're dealing with all this stuff. Let's continue. Visitors are increasingly taking the social media to bash the happiest place on earth, complaining that Chapek, who replaced the Mouse House's longtime boss, Bob Iger, who was terrible, who really started us down this road, is only concerned with cutting costs and raises prices instead of reinvesting in the resort, which is true. It's, But I wouldn't even just say that. At the heart of the problem is that they've pushed these agendas on kids and families and lost the sight of what Walt Disney wanted. He wanted family values and dare I say Christian American values. And now we're trying to tell little boys they can be girls. Little girls tell them they can be boys or whatever they want to be. A cat, a dog, or whatever they want to identify as. It's just insane. They've lost focus. And I find it hilarious that they're having all these problems. <laughs> And they won't recognize it. It's just a reflection of what they're focused on. It's just insane. Let's continue. Last month, riders got stranded for over an hour on Magic Kingdom's It's a Small World ride. How do you get stuck on the map? It's a small world. Everything's so slow. <laughs> it's so painful. Could you imagine hearing that song for an over an hour straight with no help getting out of the boat? Oh, my God. Goodness gracious, this is just incredible. <laughs> when one customer calling the experience torture on social media. In July, video footage from Disney World revealed guests climbing out of a Splash Mountain boat. We just watched that. And and it happened again. I mean, it, it happened at the park's third sinking incident two years ago. I, It's just happening a lot. Why is this happening all the time? This uh, Little Mermaid ride, don't get me started on this, about four or five years ago, the scene where Ursula, there's a part where you're in a car and you go past Ursula. There was like an Instagram video or something like that that went around where her head had fallen off. And she was still doing her little conjuring spell thing. It was the creepiest sight. <laughs> it's just incredible. This is Disney World. Everything's supposed to be working right. Oh, my goodness. People commenting on their posts on Instagram. Just saying it's a terrible experience with how expensive it is and everything being broken down. It's just insane. Goodness gracious. Oh, man. Let's continue. Um, this person right here paid for a lightning lane, which it's replaced um, It's replaced the fast passes where you have to pay for it. It's just incredible. Like, for Guardians of the Galaxy, a brand new roller coaster, having to wait 40 minutes because the ride is broken and you paid to go on it faster than everybody else. Insanity. It's It's crazy. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, here's, here's another part. This new uh, Star Wars hotel that was supposed to be incredibly expensive. It is incredibly expensive. It's supposed to be the best experience that you could pay for and and everything like that. And, and I've seen videos. It's not even like canon. Everything is like on its own. 
<sighs> Why couldn't we just stick with the original trilogy? That's another video for another day. Oh my goodness. People complaining about the, the AC being broken, the cast members not being in character. I mean, who could blame them? <laughs> Disney's lost the magic. They've lost of what they're supposed to be. The fun in it at all. Everything's depressed. Everything's progressive. Everything's woke. And it's a reflection on their rides, their maintenance, everything. Oh my goodness. And then uh, talking about Universal and SeaWorld being better. It's, it's, it's 100% right. Universal's incredible. I've been three times this year already. I love it. And Universal doesn't throw it in your face. They're there for everyone. They don't push anything. Everybody's welcome. You're just there to ride rides and enjoy being immersed in the experience. Here's somebody else that said something. There is no doubt that the parks, restaurants, and hotels that we enjoyed were in definite need of repair. There was a clear lack of general maintenance. <laughs> it was a genuinely shocking it was genuinely shocking at the prices that are charging. There's zero excuse for it, including COVID. It's true. It's true. How could you charge this much if you're not going to take care of things? <laughs> Here's something else. I watched a person smoking cigarettes in the middle of Liberty Square. <laughs> what? What in the world? Grabbing a uh, grabbed a real quick dinner at Pecos Bills and it was grimy. And it's true. Pecos Grills is already grimy. It's delicious, but it's already grimy. Here's somebody talking about the hotels. The lack of room cleaning bothered me the most. I stayed at Pop Century for 12 nights, and the light cleaning every other day isn't good enough. I don't get room service anyways. I just take care of it myself. I don't want anybody in my room. People are complaining about Bob Chapek. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, so the bottom line is it's... Bob Iger or Bob Chapek are part of the problem. But I'm telling you, the heart of the issue is that they've lost focus as a company. They've lost the values, the, the traditional values, Christian American values that Walt Disney himself pushed. And we've lost that. We've lost that drive to be better, to be creative. We're going backwards. We're going backwards in the progress we've made as a society. They're so, they're so focused on this woke junk, this progressive stuff, and they're raising prices of things. Yeah, inflation's happening. But when you get preached at, and that's what their focus is, this is what you get. And it's a reflection of the company when you're focused on pushing this junk and not fixing what you've already built. You're tearing it down. It's so sad. And more people need to say enough. Give your money to Universal. Reward companies that aren't pushing stuff in your face. That's the way we fight this stuff. You give money to people who appreciate that you're not throwing what you think in their face. It's okay to disagree. But when you're preached at, and when not only that, when your rides aren't breaking, when you're breaking down, and the quality of things go down, do you think people want to go? I'm telling you, Universal's getting there. They're about to overpass them. They're about to build a new theme park. Theme park. Yeah, it's just crazy. This is just yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Anyways, guys, that's the video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by.